Okay, so what we're going to do next is we are going to prepare some slides using the spread onion, okay? Now what I like to do is I like to just use the red part, the reddest part of the onion that I can. It's usually the outermost layer, so I'll just take this thing apart. Okay, so the way we do this is we break the skin and then we pull. So I'm not interested in this part, and we're not going to be sectioning or cutting anything. We're simply going to break this. So I'll just break, and now I'm going to start separating that outer skin. And so you can see here, this red part right here is what I'm actually interested in. And so I'm going to pull until I have a decent-sized piece. This is more than enough. Okay, so. The scalpel, hopefully, not cut myself with it. I'm going to take a piece and put it on here. This is a really old scalpel. Okay, so it's another piece really right there. Put on another side. The key here is try to make sure that what you have is a relatively flat piece of onion. And again, if you just pick the red part, a very thin membrane. Ah, that didn't work. Okay. Try to pull with another one. Again, break it. And then pull. You can see it's separating again. flatten these out a little bit just so that we can see nice single layers of cells. If you have cells folded over each other it's going to be more difficult to see details that we're interested in. Okay and one more. So I can still use this piece here. Then break and pull. And right here in the bottom is where I see a lot of these red cells. I'm going to try to pull this one off. Okay. Okay. So. so again, it's really these red cells here that I want to look at. The cells are filled with a very pink cytoplasm. And so that's really the part that I'm interested in. I'm not too worried about this rest of this stuff. And again, I want to have something that pink on all of these because what we're going to be looking for are changes to the shape of these cells, whether they pull away from the cell wall or not. Okay, so now we have different solutions here. So we're going to have some water, okay, as distilled water. I'm just going to put a couple of drops, well, really one drop is all we need, probably, on here. And we're going to have 0.9% NaCl. Okay, the solution would be isotonic to your red blood cells, for example. So I'm going to put a drop onto my second slide here. and 10% salt. And that's a pretty highly concentrated salt solution. So we're going to see how this affects plant cells and what they actually look like under the microscope. And again, the fact that we have nice pink cells that we're starting off with, we're gonna be able to see their cytoplasm fairly clearly on this. So let's just get a couple of cover slips on there. Okay, so. I'm trying to, well, that's probably a little too fast. 
hopefully we didn't drop too many air bubbles in there. This one's a little folded, but hopefully we can find a few good spaces here. Yeah, this one's a little too thick. And one more cover slip. Try to press down gently to help flatten things out a little bit before you look at them. So we'll take a look at, th at these under the microscope in a couple of minutes. So here we are. Uh, we have our slide of nice pink onion cells. And so what you can see here is that the cells are completely filling the actual space that's available to them. Let's switch over to high magnification. Just focus a little bit. Oh, is this lens dirty? No. Here we go. There we go. A bit of dirt on there. But you can see here. You can see the outlines very clearly. These are the cell walls. Okay. And you can see that filling in these cell wall, the space completely are these pink cells. You can see the nuclei here fairly clearly actually as well. So all of these are the nuclei of these cells. Okay, now let's switch over. This is the slide that is incubated in water. Okay, so these are onion cells in just a hypotonic solution. So they are a little swollen. Okay, now if we were to put in the 0.9% salt slide on here, it really wouldn't look that much different. So we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to go with the 10% slide, which is the hypertonic solution. And we're going to see the difference. And so let me just move this over. Let's zoom out a little bit first to find an interesting area. Okay, so right away you can see there's a difference there. Now, not all these empty cells are a problem, they just they were already empty to begin with, or at least they look empty just simply because these cells don't have a lot of pigmentation in them. But here we have a region that has a lot of these cells that have this pink cytoplasm. And so what you're seeing here is that they don't look the same. So some of these still kind of look normal, but you can kind of pull, see them pulling away from the cell wall. And in here, for example, you have a very, very intensely stained pink region that's just a cell that's just completely shriveled up. It's very, very shrunken. And so it looks darker because the concentration of the pink material, the pink dye, is much higher because the volume has decreased inside the cell. So let's go to higher magnification on this one again, just so we can compare apples to apples. And what you can see here is very clearly we're seeing a difference in what's going on with these cells. Again, you can see the cell walls very clearly here. Okay, and here's the actual cytoplasm of the cell. Okay, so all of this here is empty space. The cells pulled away from the cell wall completely. Again, you can see the nuclei very clearly. And again, some of these are very, very intensely stained because they're just stuff inside is much more concentrated than it was in the other cell because the cell's gotten smaller. Oh, by the way, right there, that's an air bubble. Uh, that's also an air bubble. That's my fault. I should have dropped that slide. The cover slip a little bit more gently.